right. What's up, guys? Uh, it is Tyler Genius with Genius Talks, episode two. Uh, we are in a new location. This is my room and my portable closet somewhere behind me. So, you know, we out here live in the big life of portable closets and all. So, uh, so today we're going to be talking about um, the idea of putting yourself in the right room. This is an analogy that I've used and I've applied to my life for a very long time. And the idea is this. If you find yourself in a room and you find yourself to be the best person in that room, like you can look around and you see that you're the most talented, uh, you're the most hardworking, the most driven, uh, the, the, the most skilled for whatever, and you, you begin to like see that in that room, you're in the wrong room. That is not the place that you want to be ever in your life. We all strive for greatness and we should never stop striving for greatness. But you never want to be in the room and be the best one in there. Because when that happens, you become complacent. When you become complacent, you no longer drive or, or uh, progress to become even greater. So just let that sink in for a minute. If you are the best person in the room, you are no longer pushing yourself to be better than you were yesterday. The room that you should be in is one where you can look up or you can look around and see that there are people better than you at what you do. There's no room for ego. There's no room for being cocky. There's no room for, for spreading or, or for bragging about, about your skills and talents because there's someone better than you out there. There's someone who does it better. And it should always be that way because what happens is instead of looking at someone and saying, okay, that's competition. Like, I, I don't want to worry about them. I'm ignoring them. That's, you got to stop. You have to stop that logic. That's the wrong way to think about it. You should be driving yourself to be in the room where you are not the best person. Because when you look around and you see someone who's better than you, instead of ignoring them, you should be taking out a notepad and taking notes and, and, and looking at what they're doing and trying to grab advice from them. Because there's no way you're gonna push yourself to be better unless you surround yourself with people who are better than you. So that's it, it's a quick video. Um, but I really hope that you guys can, can take this uh, piece of advice and really apply it. So I hope this helps. Um, yeah, we will see you guys next week. Peace.